Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to an ADS video on FTG Full Tilt Gaming. Thanks for joining us today. So I hope you guys are doing well, uh, and I hope this video finds you well because we are going to be talking about some things you guys have been asking questions of uh, here a lot. Um, this is probably one of the, the probably one of the most requested uh, videos slash information you guys ask for in live streams, videos, whatever. How does your truck sound that good? Why does mine not sound that good? Where'd you get that engine sound? So where, where'd you get that sound? Where'd you get this sound? So I'm going to kind of let you in on the secrets, but I'm also not necessarily, I'm not going to feed you a bunch of links because the thing that I found that is once those links are given, it could be a matter of a couple of months or even a couple of weeks before possibly the artist, not the artist, but the author of the mod takes it down and say updates it, then uploads it. And then all of a sudden you have a new mod, mod link. And I've got so many mods, there's no way that I can keep all of this together for you guys. Um, most of the stuff is readily available if you just do five minutes of looking. Um, so even if you don't know something, if you see it here and I don't have something to directly linked, just pause the video, find the title of the mod, and just put it in Google and see what pops up. And uh, you're looking for something that's updated for the, the latest running uh, version of um, ATS. And normally I don't really upload, I mean, uh, I don't know, upload obviously anything, but I don't update any of these mods unless I find out that they don't work. They don't work i'll look for an update um, most of these will update themselves from steam workshop obviously if the guys are still keeping the mods up so just to kind of a little bit of a back end you know on that so anyway here's my mod list um and it's it's quite extensive so when people say well it's the only thing i've got in my mods mods list and it doesn't work and i don't know why you know my 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 thing is well i've got 83 mods in my folder right now and what I can tell, they all work. Every single truck that I have works. Every single skin that I know in there works. Every single trailer that I have in there works. So there's a ton of stuff, but I want to focus on the sounds because that's what this video is. So how to make your truck sound like a million bucks. This is really where the, this is for me, this is where the immersion of the game takes place. You can take crummy, crappy sounds and completely ruins the experience of the game for me. And there are some really good trucks that have completely just absolutely terrible sounds um and the artist and the author did absolutely nothing to change them up and update them so anyway let me give you guys a couple of things that you can try um so then looking at these i stack these and organize these the same exact way that i do my mods so i always stack my mods from the maps to the textures on the maps to the trucks to the skins to the wheels to the dashes the interiors then we can move on to to um uh, the skins then we have trailers uh, any kind of company mods trailer skin mods those are all stacked one two three and then it'll move up into the realistic mods physics mods graphics mods uh realistic fog lights or any of those realistic series that's in there um i'll put those mods next and that's followed by any kind of small in testing stuff so i'm test like i am now I'm testing some skins to see if those skins worked without having to move them all the way down in the middle of the of the list we'll just put them up on top here and see if they work if they do then i will file those in later on um, and then organize the mod folder even more from this perspective this perspective because you got to realize the increased priority and decreased priority is there for a reason it's not just there uh, for your organizational needs. Um, so let me explain that. So in the sounds fix pack, all of these, most of them have an informational panel, especially the, the artists and the authors of these mods that do good work. They always put information in there. It's kind of like your, your in-game readme file. So you can see descriptions of what it is, what it does, um, the compatibility, obviously it's got, you know, seven or eight bullet points of compatibility there. Your minimum requirements, what it needs to do if you've got other mods in place. You say, well, it doesn't work. Well, do you have any AI traffic density behavior mods? You got any traffic mods, uh, Jazzy Cat stuff? And it tells you, well, it may have a problem. You may crash. You may not have any kind of performance unless you do this. Put this in higher priority than those mods. So you can kind of see what I mean. So sometimes there's fixes right inside these info panels that, people just completely gloss right over. Um, so <clears throat> the sounds fix pack, uh, fixes pack is more of an immersion pack. So I'll look at it as its base. It's kind of where everything kind of gets its start from. It's kind of the, the sound architecture that lays on the bottom of the map that the bottom of the map that adds stuff in for the global sounds. It also adjusts sounds like the garage doors in the game, like simple stuff, but it also makes it more realistic because it feels like it should. And it sounds like it should if you were doing it in real life. Then this is kind of what I feel like it would sound like. Um, so looking at that from this perspective, I look at it as immersion, sound architecture, then decorative mods, then my engine mods that are actually inside and a part of the truck, and then my singular mods. And that kind of works the same whether we're doing maps, 
that we're doing texture maps, truck skins, and dash. I'm almost building things from the ground level all the way up. Because if you were to flip it upside down, then everything eventually would fall and overwrite, it, overwrite one another. And I'll explain that here in just a few minutes. So kind of really, they, these do exactly what they say they do. Changes your air brakes. And like I said, all of these have an info panel. Some of these don't. This one tells you exactly what it does. Replace the sounds for the air brake, releases, and the wipers. That's it for every truck. Every single one of them, because most every single truck does not going to include a custom air brake and a custom wiper sound. Now, some will, and if the truck does, most likely it will overwrite this mod. Um, so this one really overwrites just the default SES stuff. So if you're driving a truck that has its own custom brake and own custom stuff that is not a replacement of the regular sounds that are in game, then this one will get overwritten by the truck because it's coming from a totally separate place. So you gotta understand how file structure also works in this. The definition files for all these mods tell the mod what it's supposed to do. So if you take a sound file, put a def, the definition is a text file that goes alongside of it. That definition file is gonna tell that mod when to do what it's supposed to do. And if it's not in a new truck or is not compatible with the truck, this sound will not sound. So I just want to understand if you're doing some kind of a funky payware or you're riding some kind of custom truck and stuff, there's no guarantee that some of these mods won't work with them if it's not if it's not designated as to say we will work with this truck. So just understand that little caveat with some of these things. Um, same thing with parking brake sounds. It's exactly the same deal. Click on the info panel. It tells exactly what it does. Real recording of the activation relief of parking brake, and it sounds fantastic. So moving along here, Qualcomm is more like an informational, um, it lets you know when you run off the road, it's like a beeping alarm sound that comes up. Also, it works with the, it replaces the yawning sounds. You don't have any more of that, whew, you know, every 30 minutes in game if you have the fatigue simulation on. So those three things, the way I look at it is the sound architecture, and then architecture in the truck that's more general towards everything. Air brakes, parking brake sounds, wipers, indicator sounds, any of that kind of stuff. Then, once you've got the foundation of the sound architecture of the game, then you can start working the sounds pack, whether it's engines, sounds, and then you work on singular trucks as I've done here. So we've got our engine sounds pack 2.7. This starts on the forum. So if you're looking on the forum, this would be something that, that, um, that uh, I'll link you to the forum, which will be to the sounds tab. But once you click on the sounds tab, you'll see all of the, the different, uh, different styles of sounds on that particular tab in the forum. Then you can go in there and download whatever you want to to whatever trucks you want to um, you want to be driving. So engine sounds pack, as I said before, click on that eye and it's got a ton of stuff. So it tells you exactly what your change log is between versions. You see this last one right here. It's totally reworked the 34 or 60, which is why I've been running that thing to death because it's an awesome sounding engine and it's so good that he updates these things. So he's got the 900, the 389 and the GT Mike T800, which is cool. So now the GT Mike has the 34 or 6E. So that's another engine in the 34 or 6E that you have access to use. And this one, is going to do so this is why i say organizing organizing your mods from the get-go uh not just the sounds part makes a difference so all of this stuff right here is on top of what my trucks and stuff are at the bottom so i know that these engine sounds pack are going to play over what's default in the truck if you put the sounds pack underneath the trucks there's no guarantee that they'll come through. Um, it may come through, it may work, and then again, it may not. It just depends on what else you've got in here. When you've got as many mods as I do, you need to make sure that you structure everything the way that it, you know, at least organize it um, in a sensible way. Um, and plus, SES has done some things on this as well to kind of help those guys that are kind of getting in this modding game at first. Um, and then after that, I'm not going to go through each one of these individually. But I want to just kind of showcase after the engine sounds pack, you can see we've got the Mac Anthem reworked engines. We've also got uh, Peterbilt 567, the Mac MP8, Volvo v and the Jake Brake. So the Jake Brake I only find works with one truck with one thing. And that's probably because I have like, you know, seven other sound mods. And it's probably being overwritten somewhere in the back end. So I'd probably have to delete or get rid of, let's say, you know, three, four mods just to have the jake break and most of them i can find a good jake break that works with them uh at, at, at any given rate so so that's that part um thing i want to point out is stuff like this the vnl you say well shoot man it doesn't work with the vnr you know because it doesn't have it in the title or it doesn't have it in the picture well if you look and look really carefully at this info panel 
it tells you compatible with the VNL, the VNL 2018, which is the, I think it's Galimin or Galim, uh, and that is from the forums, the SES forums. He does a lot of stuff. He did the 2019. He also did the VNR. So if you like the VNR, um, the 2018 model, he did that one as well. So those sounds apply to both of those trucks, the default Volvos, and also the Airdeath VNL. So if you want to have some new sounds to go with Airdeath, then grab this mod. Those kinds of things are like pretty important when it comes to just knowing what all you do. Because just because you have a Volvo VNL sound pack doesn't mean, it normally would mean, well, it doesn't apply to Airdeath or it doesn't apply of this because those would have to be special but if you download something click that info panel because i'm telling you there's a lot of info in there that completely gets passed and people just think oh it's not in the thumbnail so therefore it's not true and it doesn't work and just look on there and find out for yourself so so here's what i'll do i'll i'll um in, in i guess in closing on this just pay attention to your structure you can match up my structure if you find the all these things like i said are found out of steam workshop just search sounds um, off the Steam Workshop, some from very generic. You can go to your favorite mod sites and just type sounds. You can also go to the forum. So I am going to at least put uh, the Steam Workshop sounds you know, tab in there. I'll put a link to that one for you so you can get your start there. Uh, and also I'll put a link to the forums sounds part so you guys can start looking through the sounds tab there on the forums. I will say this just in closing, the best way to connect and contact with me about mod problems is either ask community questions about modding um, inside of the of the Discord. Don't just fire me off a bunch of messages because I, it's not, I just don't have enough time in the day to help everyone's mod woes. Um, nobody really ever helped me. I did research on YouTube, uh, and then I also just started breaking down and trying to figure out how to make this work for me, what made sense to me, and how to stack all these things together. And obviously, I've run across a formula that works, the fact that I can have 80, 83 mods in the folder, and I don't have any problems. I mean, we've still got mods with errors in them, but I don't have any game-breaking er uh, errors that don't allow me to play the game. So evidently, I've stumbled across something here that works, um, and works for me. So I hope you guys find some kind of, um, uh, I hope this information finds you guys well and it's something that you can use in your own games. Uh, like I said, don't forget to leave a like. And if you got questions, especially if they're generic questions or the general questions, or you want to add to the conversation, um, then then feel free to leave me a comment and say, hey, I also found XYZ also works as well for anybody that might be curious. Hey, that's great. I appreciate other people plugging into some of these comments and stuff because people read them um, and people like them and they dislike comments and they send nasty comments. So most of those never see the light of day because it's pointless to put on the, the videos. Um, but anyway, don't just kind of bombard the channel here just expecting to get me to spoon feed you the mods where I got this. Literally, you can put these in Google. You will find them just like I did. Um, I searched through ATS mod sites for sounds. I searched through the forum, searched through Steam Workshop, and all these things are readily available all these things come from there so anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said leave a like don't forget to subscribe and uh i guess is it for this one and i will see y'all guys here in the next video we'll see you. peace